Okay guys, I am excited and ready for today's video because I have just been loving the tell-all kind of videos that I have been doing. So I created that Pinterest video talking about how I was able to reach 2 million average monthly viewers on Pinterest and I just launched a video talking about the strategies that I have been using to grow my YouTube channel and even though that one wasn't like as big or as dramatic of results, I still love sharing the strategies that I have been using with you guys. I'm really just opening the curtains so you guys see behind the scenes of my business. I feel like for a while I kind kind of put the blockers up and I was just sharing tips with you guys, just basic generic tips that I thought that I had to share. And I, I don't know, they were still actionable, they were still good, but I just like the strategy that I am doing right now. I really feel like I've got a better connection with you guys and I feel like by being this transparent, you guys are getting so much more out of it and I am absolutely loving that. So one of the questions I actually get all the time is how much money I'm making with my blog and I've gotta say, I haven't been keeping you guys updated with how much money I've been making with my blog and in 2018, there was a reason for that and it was because I was not making very much money at all and I was embarrassed and I was afraid if I told you guys how much money I was making that you guys would be like, uh, you're doing all this stuff, you're growing your blog, or you say you're growing your blog, but the income isn't there. And it's true. I was growing my blog, I was growing my Pinterest, I started my YouTube channel, but the money wasn't there. And it was because I wasn't really focusing my energy in the right areas. Now I know really my main money maker is within Pinterest and helping other people grow on Pinterest. But, you know... It's a learning curve, guys. It is a learning curve, and I'm getting there. So in today's video, I want to be as transparent as possible and talk about how long it can honestly take to make money as a beginner blogger. Because you can go on Pinterest and you can see what other bloggers are making, you can see all their income reports, and some bloggers make a ton of money within their first month, within their first year, or maybe it could take them five years to get there. But I don't I don't know. I feel like sometimes there's not as much transparency when it comes to how long it could also take to make money with your blog because if I'm being completely honest, it took me a long time to make my first thousand dollars within my blog if I exclude my freelancing. I first started freelancing, I launched my blog in January of 2017. That's the official launch date of my blog was January 2017. By March of 2017, I actually had my first freelancing client where I was guest writing blog posts for someone else and they were paying me for it. So I started freelancing pretty pretty early selling my services and then by the time it was October of 2017 I was actually making around $2,000 a month from freelancing so I wanted to exclude that because I thought that that would be a little boring to include in here it would be like oh it took me like six months to make my first thousand dollars and I just felt like that wasn't I don't know maybe it's not as realistic for those of you that don't want to sell your services or maybe you don't have a niche where selling your services really makes sense so I specifically dug back through like my invoices and my bank account and all of the different platforms that I use to see how much money I made from affiliate marketing ads and then my courses ended up coming in there as well to show you guys how long it took me to make a thousand dollars within passive income for my blog. Each blogger is different and it depends on how you want to monetize your blog. When I was getting started, I didn't do brand collaborations or sponsored posts. I stayed away from that because I wanted to build my audience kind of authentically. I wanted to create that connection before I worked with any brands and paid to promote them. That just didn't make any sense to me at the beginning. So I didn't make any money that way. Now that is definitely an option for a beginner blogger if you have an audience or if you have a brand that's willing to work with you go for it do whatever you think is right for you and your brand but for me I'm happy with the way that I did it so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video to lay it all out there on the line with you guys, some of you guys may already know this, but I ended up buying my domain in October of 2016. I didn't launch my blog until January of 2017. The first like few months was just designing the blog, creating blog posts, and then once it was ready to launch, then I launched my blog in January of 2017. So, whew, let us get to my little notepad here and... Ooh, this is, I don't know, this is kind of weird to share just because I don't talk much about how much I make blogging. I don't share income reports. I haven't done an income report probably since November of 2017. It has been a long, long time since I've shared an income report. So this is pretty transparent with you guys and 
let's just get into it. So like I said, the three main places that I was making money was affiliate marketing, ads, and my courses. So to start with affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing, I think I got started with in March or April of 2017, and I didn't receive my first paycheck from affiliate marketing until September of 2017 for $53.90. So the first bit of money that I received from passive income wasn't actually until September of 2017. It took me nine months after launching my blog, almost a whole year since I bought my domain to make my first little bit of income from passive income on my blog, because of course before that I was making freelancing money, but for passive income, and I remember receiving that payment and being so excited that I had made money with affiliate marketing, but it took me nine months to receive my first payment with an affiliate marketing. Now, I feel like a lot of bloggers start and they think that they're gonna make money with ads, and a lot of YouTubers or beginner YouTubers or people that aspire to be YouTubers, they think that they're gonna make money with ads. Well, with YouTube specifically, you have to have your first thousand followers as well as 4,000 hours of watch time within the past year to even get ads on your videos, to even start making money with ads. And if you have a blog, you need to get pretty decent traffic to your website and clicks on those ads to be actually making money with those ads. So if I'm being honest with you guys, it took me until April of 2018 to make my first $101.40 with ads because I am a part of Google AdSense and they don't pay you out until you hit the $100 threshold. So it took me until April of 2018, over a year, almost a year and a half since I bought my domain to receive my first payment of ads. So if you're counting on ads, don't count on ads, okay? It's gonna take you a while to make that money. So by April of 2018, when I received that payment, I had made $449.50 with my blog. April of 2018, it took me a year and three months to make not even $500 of passive income with my blog, okay? And now this next part is going to shock you guys because I received my first payment of the courses that I had created. I launched the Blog Biz Bundle and the Blog Hustler in March and kind of April of 2018. So I didn't receive the per first payment of my sales from that until May of 2018. So by May of 2018, I had made $1,117.21. Just one month later, I had gone from $450 to $1,117. So let me break it down even more because we just hit our first $1,000 by May of 2018. That is a long time to make my first $1,000. And to break that down, so that $1,117.21, $555.92 of that was from affiliate marketing. $101.40 of that were from ads. And then $459.89 was because of my courses. So if you really, really think about that, I mean, there's, there's just a few things that I want you guys to get out of this video. The first one, it can take a while to make money blogging. And if you're planning on starting a blog just to make money, you really need to be passionate about what you are doing because it can take a while, a while for the money to start trickling in. And if you were just counting on ads or even affiliate marketing to make you money, it could also take a while to build that up, to make that income. And one of the biggest things that I did to go from $450 one month to over $1,000 in the very next month, I mean, I doubled my income from over a year and a half, basically. I think I said a year and a half, right? Yeah, from October to April, that's a year and a half, to one month later, I doubled my income because I created my courses. I don't wanna like preach that you should create courses or create paid products. What I'm saying is diversifying yourself and not putting your income, all of your eggs in one basket is really going to dramatically help you to monetize your blog and to make more money with your blog. But really it just all depends on how you want to monetize your blog. If you wanna work with your brands and do sponsored posts and collaborations, that's great. That is a great way to make money. If you wanna get started with affiliate marketing, I highly recommend that you do it because it's a great passive income source. And then ads, obviously put ads on your website. It's going to make you money here and there. And when you start increasing your page views, it's gonna make you even more money. And if you're interested in courses, go ahead and create courses, eBooks, or any other paid product that you want to create. This video, I just, I wanted to be transparent with you guys and I wanted to share that it took me from launching my blog or buying my domain in October of 2016 until May of 2018 to make my first $1,000 with my blog. So it doesn't happen overnight. 
it's most certainly not going to happen overnight and if you are starting a blog or a youtube channel just to make money because you think it's a great money source or a great career path that's going to lead to millions it may it honestly it may lead to a lot of money but if that is your purpose or your why for doing it i think that you may need to find another why because just uh, look at me. I have been creating YouTube videos for well over a year. I haven't made any money from YouTube. I have made zero dollars from YouTube. And if I was just doing it for the money, honestly, I probably would have given up at this point. So that is it from this video. I feel like I have talked your ear off enough and it is time for me to go and get some other work done. So thank you guys so much for watching as always. And I will see you guys back here in another video very soon. Bye guys.